Barbecue food for you. Today, showing everyone how to cook up a spatchcock or a butterfly chicken. It's a great and easy way to cook up a whole chicken, so let's get started. First thing, take the chicken, give it a good rinse under the sink with some cold water. Next, take some paper towels and just pat it dry. To spatchcock or butterfly the chicken, it's real easy. Start by taking this bone out. Now you can do it with a nice sharp knife, a little bit of force, or you can take some shears. Just go to the other side, follow the bone all the way down, cut it out. Now you can flip it over and squish it, or you can just take out the bottom breastbone here. Try and leave as much chicken as you can on and just cut it out. Just like that. Now we're going to use these bones to make a stock or a gravy for the chicken. So let's just set them aside. What we've mixed up here some room temperature butter, rosemary, pepper, and some garlic powder. Just take it in little clumps and rub it on the bottom. Give it a nice good coating. Got the bottom of the chicken covered with a little bit of butter. Now we're going to add some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Just sprinkle it on. You can use any type of rub or seasonings that you love. And we'll flip it over and get the other side. Now for the top side of the bird, what we're going to do, just lift up the skin, stick your finger under, and make a little pocket. Take some of your butter, stuff her in, and just push it around. Go around the whole chicken, get it all covered. For the breast meat, just start at the top, pull the skin up. Just make a little pocket with your finger. You don't want to rip it, you just want to loosen it. Take some of your butter mixture, shove it right in there. Push it down, spread it out a little bit. Now for the top of the chicken, just take the rest of your butter mix and just slather it on. It's not going to be pretty, I suggest you wear with gloves. Try and give it a good coating, make the skin all nice and golden, and a little bit crispier. Got the top of the chicken all covered with that butter mix. Now, just add some more salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Or any type of rub you like, or spices. Anything works. Chicken all prepped and ready to go. Got the big green egg fired up around 350 degrees with chunks of applewood smoking away. So let's go get it on the grill. Got the big green egg all fired up with chunks of applewood smoking away. For a drip pan to make gravy after, what we did was cut up one onion, added the chicken bones we cut out, a little bit of pepper, and three cups of water. To get the chicken on the grill, just take a big spatula and slide it right off the cutting board. Shut the lid, give it around 45 minutes to an hour. Chicken's been cooking away on the big green egg for around 25 minutes now with those chunks of applewood smoking away and it smells great. Starting to lose daylight out here, so let's take a quick peek. Egg is sitting around 350 degrees, let's take a peek. Wow, looking good. Give it around another 15 to 20 minutes. Start checking it with a thermopen. Chicken cooking away on the big green egg. If you're going to use your cutting board and spatula again like we are, make sure you give it a good wash with soap and water first. Chicken just off the big green egg, looking great and smelling even better. We got our drip pan here, 
with the bones that we cut out. So let's start making the gravy. To get the gravy started, put a pot in your sink. Just put any strainer on it, it doesn't have to be super fine. And just dump your drippings through. It smells good. To make the gravy for our chicken, we're going to be using Bisto Traditional Gravy Mix, around three tablespoons and one cup of water, and then add it to two cups of drippings. Next, start heating it up. Add your Bisto mix to it, and keep whisking it. Spatchcock chicken, all done. Let's take a peek. Smells great. Now the moment of truth. We'll dig right into the breast meat. Look at that, nice and juicy. Mmm. Look at that. Just falling apart. Spashcock chicken, just off the grill, looking great and smelling even better. Now this goes great with potatoes, rice, salads, anything that you'd love. It's easy to do, barbecue food for you, give it a try.